Say hello to the new Xactimate desktop, X1. Over the past few years, we've worked closely with our customers to identify their needs and provide solutions addressing their challenges. The new Xactimate desktop includes advances that streamline estimate workflows, enhance collaboration, and improve data sharing through advanced cloud technologies. This is the first video of four focusing on the differences between Xactimate 28 and X1. Our goal is to prepare you to confidently and effectively use the new desktop version of Xactimate. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install X1. All your 28 projects should transfer to X1 seamlessly. However, to be extra safe, I recommend backing up all your data through a data transfer backup. If you have template docs or attached docs, you will need to back them up by opening the project and clicking on the print button. Navigate to Documents. If you have templates saved, click on Export Templates. There is a link to a document with additional information on exporting templates and attached documents below in the description. I would also recommend writing down your ExactNet address before installing X1. You can find your ExactNet address by clicking on ExactMate and then clicking on Help. Click on About ExactMate and your ExactNet will be found here. See the ExactNet address link in the description for more information. Now that all your data is backed up, go ahead and close 28. You can begin the X1 download from our website or you can click the link in the description below. Click Save if you're prompted to run or save. Once the download is finished, double click the installer file. A window will pop up asking if you want to allow this app to make changes to your device. Click Yes, and then click Run. Next, click Install. When the install is completed, you'll be asked to launch X1. Click Launch, and then sign in with your Xactware ID credentials. Next, you'll be asked to select an instance. If an instance has already been created, you can select that here. If there are no existing instances, you can create a new one. Do not create a new instance if you plan on sharing data with people on an existing instance. If you do not see an instance that should already be set up, contact your instance administrator to be added to the instance. With an instance selected, click Next. You will then be asked to select all the desired profiles. You may only have one profile option available. Be aware, syncing less files can save time. You can always go back and sync any profiles that were not selected at this time. A new window will open saying the X1 detected an install of Xactimate 28 and has started the data migration tool. Click OK to continue to the main Xactimate X1 screen while migration is done in the background. Data migration can take a long time to import and sync the projects and other data correctly because it's importing everything to X1, creating a local copy in the database, and creating and syncing a backup copy to the cloud slash online side of the instance. Once the process is complete, verify that all projects, company headers, macros, and estimators are present. All active projects will be migrated directly into the Local Projects tab. All inactive projects will be uploaded to Xactimate Online where they can be accessed through the Cloud Projects tab. If data seems to be missing, it can be imported from the data transfer backup that we created at the beginning. Again, for steps on how to do this, refer to the link in the description below. And that's it! You have successfully installed Xactimate Desktop X1. If you have additional questions, please check out our eService Center. You can find the link below in the description. Fill out the survey below to let us know if there's anything you'd like to learn more about.
and be sure to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more expert tips each week.